In Nexus, layout is the shared UI between routes. The great part about layout is it never re-renders when you move from one page to another page on the route change. We mostly use layout to keep a few static things that also not supposed to change like your header, maybe your footer, usually those contain static data and we would like to keep them in layout. As you know from this playlist already or by learning Nexus that layout has the capability of wrapping the pages. It means that across all the pages across all the routes the layout will be appearing almost the same way if you want along with layout there is one more thing almost similar to layout in its capability it's called template however there is a clear demarcation between layout and template that's what we're going to learn in this video hey everyone welcome back to nexus playlist welcome to tapascript and let's learn about layout versus template with example projects and hands-on coding the diagram you are seeing on your screen consider that your application the application is having a header a sidebar a footer and a page whenever the route changes or the navigation changes the content of the page also changes in most of the cases you won't change the content of your header you won't change the content of your footer also most likely the content of your sidebar those are the places the content remains static and you want to maintain their state across the navigation that is where you will be using something called layout and using layout you will be wrapping not only your page but also other component where you want to maintain the state across navigation now template just like layout they can also wrap pages and layouts but there is a clear differentiation between a layout and a template layout can maintain the state across the navigation template really cannot do that across navigation template will re-render it means that it is going to reconstruct the dom it is going to re-render itself that's why it is going to lose the state across the navigation so if you care for performance you would go for layout for sure because you don't want the state to lose especially for the components or especially for the portion of the ui that are going to remain static if you are using template in place of layout even though your component content are supposed to stay static but they are going to re-render again and again every time you move from one navigation to another navigation so for performance sake is always layout then why does template exist what are the use cases of template now let us build a project and with that project we will clearly identify the differences between layout and template just now we spoke but also there are certain use cases that you want to build in whenever it is required so it's always good to know what template is going to offer so that whenever the situation come we would select template and we will use that now another question is template is always a replacement of layout no not like that layout and template both can coexist in your application and whenever you're going to use template in most of the cases you would use template along with layout only you are not going to replace template for your layout in most of the cases all right so let's get started with the project and the coding so guys i have created a next.js project and i have made a very few modification to it let's go through it once if i expand the app and go to page.js file I have removed everything and just kept a div and a h2 and calling it as home page that's what is getting rendered over here and then i have created a folder called components inside that i have created three very very simple components react components called header footer and sidebar let me go through it very quickly the header very basic component where i have a nav bar and a h1 and there are few styles to give a border and a background color the similar pattern has been followed for the footer as well where i have this footer and then there are some styles to make the footer appear better and then there is a sidebar which is a div and there is a h1 and i'm calling it as sidebar that's it now if i go to layout.js file the layout.js file is unchanged this is where i'm going to import this header sidebar and footer just like this and i'm going to use it in its jsx so please notice at the right side the moment i'll use header i'll see a header is appearing over there so i see the header has appeared and then after header i'm going to also use the footer so i'll be seeing the footer at the bottom i'm seeing this footer at the bottom and then i'm going to use a sidebar as well but the sidebar i'm going to wrap inside the main along with the children 
something like this you can see a sidebar over here this is getting a little bit truncated don't worry about it if you expand it you would see the sidebar properly you will be having the children over here which is basically the page and let me put that page inside a div tag and then i'm going to add a class over here so that everything appears correctly and i'm going to call it as flex and i get to see this home page as well so right now if i see this ui i have a header i have a footer i have a sidebar and i have a home page as i put everything inside this layout so now if i change from one route to another route these things are never going to get re-rendered so for that let me create a route apart from the home route now to create a route inside the app folder let me create a new folder called products inside products let me create a page file for this particular page and from the root page now i am going to put a link so i'll be importing the link and put a link after this h2 saying go to product page so i should be able to see this go to product page over here if i click on this i'll get an error because i have not completed the page.js file for the products but let me do that a similar looking page i'm calling it as product page where i am giving a h2 called product page and giving another link back so that i can go back to the home page so if i go to ui I can go to product page which is rendering the product page and I can go back to home page so clicking on the link on each of the pages I can change the navigation you can see the URL also changing now I'm saying each of these things like the header sidebar and the footer is not re-rendering can I prove that yeah I can prove that so for that let me go to footer.jsx file and for the time being let me make it as a client component because I'm going to use use state now I'll be importing use state from react and over here i'm going to create a state let's name that a state itself with an initial value called test value so i have a state with the initial value called state value and right above this footer text let me include one input type equals to text value equals to state and then on change equals to the set state so if you see now in the footer i got a text box with the value initialized with the test value that is what i have given as the initial value of my state a simple react component now let me change this test value and make it like tapas script now let me go from one route to another route i am at products now i'm going to click on this and going to go to the home page did you see this tapas script has not changed it means this particular component has not re-rendered had this component got re-rendered i would have got this particular text back to this test value because the state is being initialized with this one so the dom is not getting collapsed the dom is not getting recreated this particular component is not getting re-rendered when i'm moving from one navigation to another navigation this is the proof of it it will re-render only when you do a hard refresh if i'm doing a hard refresh then only it got set to this one so as you understood the layout let's create a template now to create a template it is pretty easy what do you do as you have created a layout.js file inside the app similarly to create a template inside app just right click new file do template.js and you create a template file you get this error because we have not written any code inside the template.js file so when you create a template.js file you must return a react component from here so let us create a very simple react component as simple as this now i got my page back and it is working just like before let us now debug the dom together i'm going to inspect this one see this body inside that the nav then this main this footer everything is coming from layout if i go inside this main i would find a sidebar this is a sidebar and then another div that i have given to wrap the children inside the layout that you have seen but if i expand this div i would find another div inside that this particular page is there the page content is there this is the div coming from the template okay so just top of div class p4 you have a div wrapping this is your template let's go back to code once and here let's add a class equals to say p5 just for identification okay now if i come back you see that class p5 got added so this is what is your template all right so we have identified the template correctly in the dom now let us change the code of our template to prove that on each of the navigation template state recreates same code and i'm going to make this template as a client component 
I'm going to import a U state. Let me create a state just like before that I've created. And let me change this JSX a little bit so that I can structure it a little bit better. And over here, let me put an input type text box. The similarly, we have put in the footer. Now I'm on the UI. And here you can see this test value, right? You can see the test value here as well, right? In both the places. This is a text box. This is also a text box. Now here I'm going to change this as tapas script again. Here also I'll be changing this as tapas script again. Now I'm going to click on this particular link to go to product page. Look at both the tapas scripts and see which one changes. Did you see what happened? The one in the layout has never changed. Its state remains same across the navigation. But the one in the template has changed and the state value has got resetted back to the initial value because everything got remounted. Everything got re-rendered. That's the reason. So this is the proof. Every time I move, every time this is going to re-render. If I give something, I move, got re-rendered. But this remains same. So this is where template is very much different than layout. All right. So one more quick example where I can showcase one of the usage of template. And I'm going to talk about another beautiful usage of template, which you can make use of. Coming to the layout now, I have a div that is wrapping the page, right? The page content. In this div, I'm going to add a background color. I have added orange as a background color and given a full width. So if I go to UI, I see an orange color coming on my page. Great. Now on route change, can I change this background color? Is it possible to do with layout? It is not because for layout, the state remains same. That means even if I want to change the state, it will be too much to ask from the layout. First thing you have to make the layout as a client component. And the moment you make the layout as a client component, you cannot export this meta from here. So you have to manage the meta in a different way. And even when you get the use state and all these things, the state is not going to change across the navigation. We have seen that. Now to fulfill this one, let's go to template and start doing this. So as we have seen this example of state, I'm going to just remove this one. I'm going to remove this particular input also. And I'll be creating a new state called page background color or page BG color. That is a background color stuff. And then let me create an array of background color. So for example, a bunch of Tailbin CSS background color like green, pink, yellow, orange, etc. color that I have. Along with use state, let me also import use effect and then put an effect over here. Like use effect, we know the syntax of use effect already from React. This is the dependency array and that's it. Now what can we pass into the dependency array and why do we need this use effect? This use effect is required to track the navigation changes. The moment the route change, the navigation change, what will happen? This effect will run. Now for doing that, we need to recognize whether the navigation has changed or the route or the path got changed or not. For that purpose, we need a hook from next call use path name. And from use path name, I'm going to get a path name over here. Now this path name can go to the dependency array so every time the path changes, this particular effect will run. We are going to get a random color from this particular random colors array. So as there are kind of nine elements, what we can do, we can get a random number between zero to eight because array index starts from zero. So this is my code to get a random number between zero to eight. Of course, this can be improved, but for this particular demonstration, this is enough. Next is I can pick a color from this array. I can say picked color equals to this random color array and then passing this random index to it. And then finally, I can call this set page BG color and pass this picked color to it so that my state changes. And then coming to my JSX, I can put a class name over here where I can use this page BG color, the random value of the page background color over here. It means now whenever there is a navigation change, route change, this effect is going to call. It is going to pull a random color and it is setting the state over here and the same state value I'm using over here to give a random color to the background of this particular children. All right, so let's go to the UI. I'll refresh this. You see this, it started working. First become pink. So sometimes the color remains same because you know, using the random logic, it might be returning the same index, but in most of the cases you will find it changing. See, 
gray all these things so as you have seen that each of this navigation changes if you have to do something with this dynamic value you are able to do it using template this is not possible using layout because in case of layout this state will remain same but in case of template we are able to get new state on every navigation changes and able to utilize that particular state to do something unique like this there is another beautiful use case of template with Next.js. It comes with animation. And folks, I'm going to create a video with Next.js and Framer Motion very soon. That's why you're going to see this utilization of the template in much, much deeper way. But let me show you a glance of it quickly, like what you can do using template, this particular characteristic of template for animations. Most of the portion from this particular UI, I'm going to teach you in the next video, but see the output right now. I'm refreshing this page, see the animation happening over there. If I'm going from one page to another page, you see the animation happening. You see all these animations are happening over here. This is using Framer Motion in Next.js app router and this is where the power of template I have used. A quick glance of it. Here also I have a template.js file and if I go to template.js file, what I am doing over here, I am using the syntax from Framer Motion itself where they suggest that you use this motion along with the UI element on which you want to apply the animations. For example, in my case, it is div and then apply various other properties of animation on it. So in this case, I'm applying it on the page level so that whenever there is a page entry from one route to another route, whenever the page gets loaded, this particular animation is going to get applied on top of it. Along with it, you have also seen that Inside a page at this level also something is getting animated like this. This also you can do very comfortably using Framer Motion in your application. Stay tuned. That video is coming next. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you don't want to miss that video.